The Lives of the Saints, by Father Alban Butler, April 5th, Blessed Juliana of Montcornillon. The introduction of the Feast of Corpus Christi is mainly due to the efforts of Blessed Juliana. She was born near Liege in 1192. At the age of five, she was orphaned and placed in the care of the nuns of Montcornillon. This was a double monastery of religious and nuns of St. Augustine, which was dedicated to caring for the sick, especially lepers. To prevent Julienne and her sister Agnes from becoming infected, the superioress sent them to a farm near Amercour. There, Sister Sapienza educated them with great affection. Agnes died young. Juliana became a very studious girl. She professed great devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and spent whole hours leafing through the volumes of St. Augustine, St. Bernard, and other Holy Fathers in the library. Strangely enough, from the age of 15 or 16, she constantly saw a kind of moon divided by a black band. At first, Juliana feared that it was an artifice of the devil to distract her from her studies. But little by little, she became convinced that the apparition had a supernatural meaning that she was not yet able to understand. Finally, she had a vision in which the Lord explained to her that the moon represented the liturgical year with all the feasts, and that the black band represented the lack of the feast of the blessed sacrament that was to complete the cycle. Years later, Juliana took the habit at Mount Cornelin, but she was unknown in the world and lacked the influence to bring about the introduction of the Feast of Corpus Christi. In 1225, she was elected superior and began to speak of her mission to some friends, in particular, Blessed Eva. She was a loner who lived next to St. Martin's Church across the river. Blessed Eva also discussed her plans with Elizabeth of Huy, who was a religious saint in her community. Encouraged by these two pious women, she dared to confide herself to a learned canon of St. Martin's, John of Lausanne, begging him to consult the theologians on the matter. The canon conferred the matter with Jacopo Pantaleon, who was later Urban IV, with Hugo de Saint-Cher, provincial of the Dominicans, with Bishop Guido de Cambrai, Chancellor of the University of Paris, and with other learned men, and all assured him that there was no theological or canonical objection to be raised against the institution of the feast. But opposition arose on the other side. Although John of Cornelin had composed an office of the Blessed Sacrament adopted by the canons of St. Martin, and although Hugo de Saint-Cher spoke in defense of the Blessed, some began to say that she was a visionary and worse. Even in the monastery, opposition against Julien arose. The direction of the monastery ultimately depended on the prior, but it seems that the burgomaster and the citizens had a say in the direction of the hospital, although the prior administered the revenues. The new prior, whose name was Rogelio, accused Juliana of falsifying the accounts and embezzling funds to promote a feast that no one was interested in. The people were furious and forced Juliana to leave the convent. Bishop Robert ordered investigations into the matter. The results were excellent. Juliana returned to Mont Cornillon, the prior was transferred to the Hospital of Huy, and the Diocese of Liege adopted in 1242 the Feast of Corpus Christi. However, after the death of the bishop, the persecution was renewed, and Julienne had to leave the city again. With three of the nuns, Elizabeth of Huy, Agnes, and Otilienne, she wandered from place to place until she found asylum in Namur. There they lived for some time on alms. Finally, the abbess of Salzinus took up Julienne's cause on her own and obtained that the convent of Mont Cornillon give her a part of her dowry. However, difficulties continued to rain down, as Julienne herself had predicted. During the siege of Namur, the troops of Henry II of Luxembourg burned the abbey of Salzinus, and Julienne had to flee with the abbess. She spent her last days in Fosses, ill and very poor. She died on April 5, 1258, assisted by the abbess and her faithful friend, Ermintrudis. Eva, Julianna's old friend, completed her great mission. When she went up to the cathedral of St. Peter Urban IV, who had been one of the first to support Juliana, Eva went to the Bishop of Liege to ask the Supreme Pontiff to institute the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. The Pope agreed, and to show Eva his appreciation for the part she had played in the institution of the feast, he sent her the Bull of Approval and the Office of Corpus Christi that St. Thomas Aquinas had composed at her request. In 1312, under Clement V, the Council of Vienna confirmed the Bull of Urban IV. Since then, the Feast of Corpus Christi became a holy day of obligation in the West, Many Eastern Rite Catholics also celebrate the feast. Juliana was beatified in 1869.